guys, it's Marissa from What is an Art, and today I'm going to be taking you along while I throw together a quick sign to use at different parties. I've had this idea for a while, but there's a bridal shower coming up that I thought this would be perfect for, so it gave me a good excuse to get it done. All I needed was a good heavy-duty piece of cardboard, sandpaper, um, a old wreath ring that I had lying around the house, some chalkboard paint, and a decorative spray paint. I did need a paintbrush for the chalkboard paint. I needed something to cut the cardboard with and a writing utensil as well. I'm also going to need something to poke holes in the cardboard. Uh, a good needle and some thread, and I chose a clear thread so that it wouldn't show up, but you could use anything that you had on hand. I also wanted to let you guys know that each of the things that I ended up using in this project I already had at my house, um, and if you go to make something like this, just think about what you already have on hand. You don't have to go out and buy things um, all the time to make new projects look at what you already have on hand. Um, I purposely, when I do a bigger project, I might get a little extra spray paint to have on hand. Um, I always try to keep sandpaper around and when I see something interesting, like the wreath ring, it kind of has a wavy texture and I loved it. thought it was interesting and I thought it was worth trying to save and make into something. So I'll save small things like that to use at a later date. The first and hardest thing that I had to do was um, trace the ring and make it the size that I wanted, which was actually like a little bit smaller than the ring itself. I wanted a gap between the cardboard and the metal ring. So trying to get the sizing correct and make sure everything was going to line up and then afterwards I had to cut it out, which took a little bit of time. Um, but just honestly getting it just right to where I wanted it other people weren't going to notice but I would that was the hardest part of this whole project once that was done it was quick and easy from there I just painted both sides of the cardboard with my chalkboard paint which um is going to actually protect from the water pretty good so this should hold up for quite a few years even though it's made with cardboard so I painted both sides of that and allowed it to dry I had to make sure it was laying fairly flat because um, the cardboard had lost some of its structural integrity. I also took, because the wreath ring is um, not brand new, I had to take the sandpaper and just give that a little scuff, make sure there was no rust hanging out on it. And then I took it outside and just gave it a light coating of the gold spray paint made sure there was nothing um that made sure everything was covered nothing was showing through and allowed that to dry after both pieces were painted i made sure they were lined up and decided how i wanted the holes in the cardboard to be spaced for, um up against the ring because like i said it, it's a wavy ring so i wanted to make sure that when i put it together it, it sat correctly um, so then I just went around and poked all the holes in the cardboard and got that ready. Then came the second hardest thing, which probably would have been easier if I wasn't using a clear thread. But I took my thread and needle and just, um, did like a whip stitch all the way around, making sure I went around the ring and then into the cardboard and then around the ring and into the cardboard and went all the way around. Um, I thought about using fishing wire to do it because it would have been a little bit more sturdy, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used clear sewing thread. And because that was thinner, I ended up going around twice just to give it plenty of stability so it would be able to stand up if there was any wind when I was using it as a decoration. So that took a little bit of time to get that sewn in and then shift it around so that it wasn't it wasn't touching the ring itself and that there was an even gap all the way around. 
once that was tied off and the threads were cut, I have a finished decorative chalkboard to use at parties. Um, I have some nice chalk writers from the Dollar Tree that I use on this, and they came in all kinds of colors. And later on, when it comes time to use it at a party, because I left a gap between the wire and the cardboard or the chalkboard, um, I'll be able to take and add decorations, greenery, ribbons, whatever I want um, around the chalkboard itself. I can leave it plain and whatever I put on, I it's not it doesn't have to be permanent. I can take it off and change it up for the next thing. So the first time it'll be used will probably be for this bridal shower that's coming up and I'll use one kind of greenery and then I might turn around and use it at a baby shower where I want pastel colors and cute fluffy things. Um, but this is going to be a very versatile uh, decoration to have on hand that will just be fun and can be used over and over again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think. Remember, in, even in your day-to-day -day life, you can be creative, you can be curious, and kind cooperation makes anything possible.